A coalition of delegates from the South, South and Southeast regions have endorsed Dr. Nicholas Felix as the consensus candidate of the All Progressives Congress from the region. The group made this known during a courtesy visit to Felix at his Abuja residence. The delegates described Felix as a young, vibrant, exposed and energetic aspirant who will defeat the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, at the polls in 2023. According to the group, discussions are ongoing with other aspirants from the two regions to see reasons why he remains the best option. Well, Nicholas Felix himself joins us now in the studio. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, in 2019, you were the presidential candidate of the People's Coalition Party. Yes. And now you're trying to get the ticket of mm. the All Progressives Congress. Yes. Why the switch? Um, for several reasons. After running under the People's Coalition Party, I discovered it's, it's close to impossible to win a presidential election from uh, these smaller parties. So we had to uh, make a switch to parties that we know that have the structure to be able to get the job done. So is it easier for you to get a ticket in the APC where you have the likes of uh, astute politicians and career politicians, like they'd like to call them? Yeah, to me, it's, it's very easy because uh, all of these politicians that we have aboard, there's not anything substantial they can prove to us that they have done. In 2019, same thing was said to me. Everywhere I go to, oh, nobody knows you, nobody's going to vote for you. At the end of the day, I came out third position. So in my books, there's nothing that is not possible. But I feel this is going to be an easy win because uh, Nigeria need a change. They need a new face. And I'm the only new face right now in the All Progressive Congress. Is it just about a new face or the man who has the capacity, who understands Nigeria? I mean, at 40, do you think Nigeria is really ready for a 40-year-old uh, president and knowing your background that you, you don't really live in Nigeria, do you? I, I uh, yeah. How much of Nigeria do you know to understand what Nigeria and Nigerians need at this time? I was born in Nigeria. Right. I grew up uh, in Nigeria. I went to my primary and secondary school in Nigeria. Yes, I've been in America, but I frequent Nigeria. I have widows on salary since 2016 in Nigeria. My houses in Edo State, uh, people are living there rent free. I do know the challenges of people going, or what is going on in Nigeria. Uh, financially, we help a lot of people here in Nigeria. So when it comes to the pain, I, I understand. Now, in terms of capacity, it amazes me that uh, 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 France elected uh, Emmanuel Macron at the age of 39, mm. and Obama was elected at the age of 45. That's a $21 trillion economy. France had about $2 trillion economy, and yet they trusted a youth to handle it. But when it comes to Nigeria, I, I it, it amazes me that all our politicians or people know that we youth are good for is just to become SSA running after them. We can handle this. We are youth. We have the capacity. We have the vision uh, to get this job done. And I can do it because I've lived in a nation where almost everything worked. I've built businesses. In the past five years, I've hired over 2,000 people. I went to America not knowing where to stay. I managed to get a place to stay. And in these few years, I've established businesses and multi-million dollar companies. And if I can do that in the private sector, I can do the same if power is handled. Some people will say you're comparing apples and oranges, and oranges because the structures are different, the institutions are different. Uh, but you say your main agenda is the protection of citizens and property. You say as of today in Nigeria, security is a mess. May I remind you that the party on which you're running is the one currently in power, the All Progressives Congress. Uh, isn't that saying that your party hasn't done much for Nigeria and how do you intend to sell that message that you're running on the platform of the party in power which hasn't done much? Mm -hmm. I believe ev every administration just the same as our president and uh, wants uh, continuity. Mm -hmm. No matter what the job that has been done, I believe uh, uh, more needs to be done. I've always said it. The fact that I'm a member of the APC doesn't mean uh, uh, we, we don't desire to do more. Nigeria needs to be safe. It is not any doubt that people are still dying. It is not any doubt that people are still being kidnapped. So it doesn't mean I'm a part of the member. That's why I'm, 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 I joined the party. So we'll be able to continue from where uh, the president stopped, which is security. My strength is security. I believe I have the solution in fixing the security uh, issues in this country. How exactly do you plan to do that? I mean, yes, you, you did say that Nigeria's challenges are 
surmountable with the right ideas. Mm -hmm. What ideas will you bring to tackling Nigeria's uh, security challenges? And uh, yes, I I'd like you to address that okay. you know, profusely. And then again, uh, your party, the, the, the chances are that they might settle for a consensus candidate. Uh, would you be willing to step down to okay. that consensus candidate? I'll answer the first question. Yeah. I'll give you a brief rundown. Uh, the UN recommends that for every nation, for every 450 citizens, you should have one police officer. Mm -hmm. Right now, for the ratio in Nigeria, we have one to close to 1,000. We're already falling short. That UN recommendation is for nations that are already safe. So in Nigeria, we have about 371,800 police officers. 45% of these police officers are assigned to politicians and rich people who can afford it. There's nothing wrong with that because that's a means of generating revenue for the police department. So the first thing we need to do, we need to hire more police officers. I recommend at least one million police officers need to be hired immediately to be able to tackle the security issue. Then number two, we need to change we need to reform the police system. The, the Nigerian police is over 90 years old. We're using the old system to fight the current issues that we face. It amazes me that I could drive in the city of Abuja for one hour and I won't see any police officers. In New York City where I live, that does not happen. In every five, 10 minutes you drive, you see police moving around the street. They stop vehicles, they search, they ask questions. But all we see here is police mounting roadblock. And another thing that amazes me is when I hear somebody is kidnapped in Lagos and the person was recovered in Abuja, somebody is kidnapped in the north and they took them to the, north, uh, to the south, it amazes me how are kidnappers, how are these guys able to transport human beings across the nation? They are not flying, we know that. They put them in the vehicles and nobody is stopping them because the system is wrong. So we have to re reform the police system, bring something new totally, which is what I'm bringing on board. We can't keep doing the same thing, using the same old method that has not worked, and we expect a change. I'm bringing something new on board. And number two, the issue of consensus. Uh, you know, we have party policies, and I'm a party man. I understand uh, uh, working with the party, because if you have a divided party, you're going to have a divided nation. I'm not against consensus. I'm only going to have to know who and why. And I have a policy, if I'm going to be stepping down for you, I have to know why. But I believe the reason why I'm not going to speak against consensus, apparently among the 23 of us, I'm the only one with a clean slate right now who can stand to defeat uh, His Excellency Atikwa Abubakar. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are yearning for a youth. Nigeria wants a youth with vision and capacity. Apparently, I'm the only one bringing it down on the table. Like I always say, if I'm elected or when I'm elected as a candidate, even the chairman of PDP is going to vote for me mm -hmm. because it will be so obvious that this is the right man for the job. Well, you sound very confident. Very just Atiku Abubakar of the PDP. There's, we, uh, there's Peter Obi of the Labour Party. There's mm -hmm. Rabi Konkonso of oh, the, the NNPP. NNPP. Uh, those are top contenders already mm -hmm. emerging. What are your chances mm -hmm. against them? And when you say you have the solution to the challenges of security, must you become a president to fix such challenges since you're a member of the APC? It looks like everybody just wants to become president. Yeah, the reason why, why I came to run, I believe um, when a fish wants to go to rotten, it starts from the head. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm leaving my comfort zone. I'm very comfortable in America. I don't have to be here. Mm -hmm. But I came down because I want to cause a change in my nation. So if I don't have a means of doing that, there's no need. I'll just stay in my comfort zone. So that's why I came to run for this seat. And as you know, the federal government controls the police force. And I believe that's the place the change will begin and you feel the change even to our local government. So it is, it is of great importance that uh, uh, that's where I need to be to cause the change that I desire. Mm -hmm. And you have the structure to achieve that? We have the structure, and that's why we joined the APC. Right. APC have the structure uh, to, to get the job done. Great. Thank you very much, Nicholas Felix, APC presidential aspirant, youngest uh, aspirant for that matter. Thank you very much for joining us.